Congratulations on Frost. It is amazing. I, I watched it last night. You capture the audience attention so well. What was it about this project that you enjoyed the most? Well, thank you so much, first of all, for watching and for having me. Um, what drew me to this project um, specifically, they, they pitched me with the story and it was a true story. So that's always something that I'm really into. Um, I like telling uh, actual people's stories. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, obviously was super unique. I was actually pregnant um, at the time that we shot this. I was six and I was pregnant. So um, the challenge of doing such a physical role um, with that challenge, it was also the height of the pandemic, like lockdowns and everything at that point. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I was like, can we pull off this movie um, with all these conditions working against us? And uh, so it was like, kind of like, see what you can all put here. And yeah, we did, it was fun. Definitely. Um... Without spoiling anything, this movie gets very intense very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with, with your pregnancy, with everything going on, how difficult was it to capture this? What would they make it easier? How did you, you know, embody this character so well? Um, a lot of it really was um, shooting in the elements. Like it really, we had golf ball size hail one day um it was snowing the night so there was like the actual physical element working with us and against us um and then I also being really pregnant I was kind of already hormonal <laughs> so um so it was easy to kind of you know just be all over the place with that but um but honestly it really was a very physical role and so um so it was hard we shot 12 hour days so it was like keeping that intensity, yeah, just day after day like that. Um, I, I got quite a workout. <laughs> I bet. Um, how um, how did the the cast uh, uh, the crew treat you uh, since you were pregnant? Since you know you, you shot long days, uh, were, you know how much did they work to make sure you were comfortable since you were pregnant, six months pregnant? That's a great question. Um, my director of photography, um, he actually is a father. I, I, hadn't, I hadn't had any children. It was my first time um, being pregnant. So I didn't really know what to expect. And it's a unique situation to be filming and filming this kind mm -hmm. of movie um, in that. So I really didn't have a lot of like insight or people to ask about like what I should do. So um, <laughs> kind of just making it up as we went along there. So um, the crew all was just constantly in between each take, like Chucky Army, making sure I was okay. Um, one of our crew members is a registered nurse. So um, she was like monitoring my vitals in between. And, and um, they did like, they worked really, really hard to try to take care of me the best they could in between. But the the reality of it was, is um, a lot of the movie really is is just me. So, mm -hmm. um, and we had, you know, a really tight shooting schedule. So I, I took as many breaks as I could. Um, but unfortunately, it's not like I could be like, all right, I'm, that was really intense. I'm going to go, you know, rest for a few hours, film somebody else. Like there was nobody else. To film. <laughs> so I kind of just had to, you know, had to just persevere through a lot of it. So um, at times it was very challenging, but, um, but yeah, they were, they were great about looking after me and making sure, you know, I was eating and staying hydrated and, you know, um, my team was fantastic. Incredible. Um, I've seen a lot of your horror films. You're, oh, you're you. a very <laughs> talented actress. Uh, but most of the time, horror relies a lot on gore. This has very few few gore scenes. Yes, uh, it, it's more psychological. Uh, did that psychological toll like affect you at all? Like, how was that aspect of this shooting process? It it actually really did. I um I kind of pride myself on being able to you know draw that line when I play a character, mm -hmm. especially someone like true life character. I make it very clear what's reality and what's the job. But on this one, because so many of the elements were, were real, um, it was hard to have that, that line drawn. Um, and so it, it did kind of, I don't know, can I swear on here? Yeah. Okay. It did kind of fuck with me a little bit. I was, you know, I was trying to separate those things, but like my hormones are all over the place from mm -hmm. being pregnant and stuff. So it was just, it was just harder to control um, what I put on the screen and what I took home with me on this one. It was very, it was really a personal film, whether I knew it or not at the time. And um, I realized if I, I finished shooting, like what a psychological toll it took. Um, something that, you know, the 
the initial reviews on this came back a little bit mixed. Everyone, um, whether you liked it or not, and you can probably, since you've seen the film, you know why they mm -hmm. wouldn't like it. Um, it, it. The one thing that everyone has said consistently is it affects you. Like mm -hmm. that it's something that kind of stays with you. And a lot of people have said like days later, they were still thinking about it. And I was kind of chuckling about that, but I, I thought about it this morning because I watched the film last night. Um, it really does stay with you. And I think as the actor, I actually felt that too, like kind of dealing with it a little bit, um, especially as I got closer to, to actually having my baby, um, it, it, it packs a punch. And so um, when they were editing it normally, like, especially if I have anything at all to do behind the scenes, I'm like really nosy. I'm up in there while they're editing it and like messing with everything. But um, this one, I stepped away. I, I actually hadn't seen the whole film. I'd seen pieces, but not the whole film um, until last night at the premiere. Cause, um, cause it was kind of messing with me a little. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think that's good. That's kind of the story we, we went out to tell. So I, I consider that a win. <laughs> Definitely, and uh, since you were pregnant, since you've had your child, uh, that scene that we're, you're talking about, um, how did you react to it? What, what you know, what came on in your yourself watching it last night? So it's funny, like um, the the birthing scenes were harder for me to do um, physically and, and and mentally. By the time we got to the end. Um, I was kind of like in my scream queen zone. I went into like like horror movie mode. So I was, that was actually easier for me to do um, than somebody, if you believe that or not. Like it was, it was part of the easiest stuff because I was like, I know how to do this element mm -hmm. really well. So that I was able to separate a little bit. But like we were just talking about when it was done and like the whole picture kind of resonated a little bit. Then it started messing with me a bit. And then definitely after the baby came, I was like, <laughs> yeah. little, little funky. It's yeah, I definitely this morning, well, cause I, I am talking about it too. And we're doing the press tour today and tomorrow, but um, it's, it was kind of intense to relive. And, you know, it's, it was me going through it. So I didn't know, I, I got to watch it with an audience. I wasn't sure how they were going to react to it. Um, I wasn't sure if it was impactful because it was, like so personal to me or um or if the audience was feeling it too but based on what I witnessed yeah it, everybody seems to to feel that definitely uh yeah it, it will definitely stick in my mind for a while it, yeah it's very <laughs> impactful um, I, don't, I don't know whether to say sorry or you're welcome but I'm, I'm not exactly sure about that either right now <laughs> um but yeah watching it last night with an audience how did you perceive the audience? Like, what did the the reaction they gave? Was it what you expected? You know, how was that? I didn't know what to expect. It's again, it's a very unique film. So, mm -hmm. um, I love watching movies with an audience because you get to see, like, hey, did that moment work? You know, what's the, mm -hmm. like? Are they gasping? Are they laughing? Are they jumping? You know, you get to see what you were trying to accomplish. Does it work with someone who doesn't know what's coming? And um, this one, it was kind of, everyone was just like, for like two hours straight. <laughs> um, and, you know, being in the, in the theater there, it's, you know, the sound is very big. Everything's kind of immersive. So it's, it's um, heightened the experience, I think, to just being stuck in this space. Definitely. Um, would you be up for taking another role where, it's just you, like much like this one, like where you just one place having to not just capture the audience, but give that thrill, give that scare. Is that something that you look look for in a role? I um I look for stories that will um, satisfy horror fans, honestly. And so um, people ask me like, what are you looking to do? Do you, do you choose horror? I actively choose to stay in horror and, and darker elements. That's my jam, that's what I love. Um, but as a horror fan myself, I kind of I know what fans want out of certain things. And so I try to do every subgenre. So no matter what your, your horror kink is, like I can tell you, hey, if you like this kind of stuff, you should watch this movie. Mm -hmm. And um, so I know I needed a survival thriller. I hadn't really done one yet. 
And um, with COVID, it seemed like an appropriate space. I think a lot of people were looking to create content during COVID. You know, we were all stuck and just trying to figure out how to do that, right? And so a lot of people who are used to telling much bigger stories try to tell simple ones um, with the restrictions that COVID brought. And it, it kind of all felt like the same movie, kind of, you know, some were great, some just really didn't know how to handle that, that medium. But um, us indie kids, you know, when I said, I was like, okay, we can only have a couple of crew and very minimal cast, what can we do with that? Um, um, this was a story I thought really not only worked in that space, but actually would be better with those conditions. And so um, I was attracted to the story because um, we found, I thought, elements that would work in our favor in this instance. And I hadn't tackled this kind of material before and I, that was really appealing to me. Um, sometimes when you stick within the genre, um, you know, cause you, you know, watch a lot of movies, there are trends. There are trends in, in our genre. You start to see the same thing over and over again for a while. It can get a little stale. And so um, sometimes, you know, I read 10, 15, 20 scripts before I'm like, okay, that's the movie I want to do next. And um, I thought that this, you know, we've seen the, the one person stuck in a small space before. That movie's been done, right? It's been, it's done, been done pretty well. And so I really wanted to find something fresh to bring to that concept. And um, when you added the true story elements into this, I thought that worked really well. So would I do it again? <sighs> I don't know. Um, it would really depend on what the story was, if it made sense. And... Um, and if I thought that like fans would be satisfied by what it was, then I'll always do it. Awesome. And uh, yes, final question. You know, it's spooky season. What are some indie horror films that you would recommend to watch, uh, whether they be something you've done or something that you enjoyed watching? I'd have to ask you what, what your jam is. What kind of what kind of horror movies do you like? I'm into all indie. I I, I try to watch as many as humanly possible. See, and I have a, I have an answer for like every sub subgenre. Like, so if you like psychological, my my yeah. favorite movie is fourteen oh eight. Have you seen that one? Yes, I, really awesome. I movie. absolutely I think it's perfect. I love fourteen oh eight. I think it's Fuck Studio. Um, you know, if you like you like snuff, you know, then you go with Sinister, um, or <laughs> you go with um, Serbian film. You know, so it just depends, like, kind of what what you like. I have I have favorites from every category within horror I think a lot of people are like you know do you like horror movies and that's such a broad scope of yeah. what that is like what scares you maybe funny to me maybe you know traumatizing to the next person so I think you know to recommend good horror you have to know what horrifies you <laughs> what are some of your favorite roles I like I said 1408 is my, my absolute favorite um I love I hate, I hate starting to say specific ones because um, I think it evolves. You know, mm -hmm. I think what my favorite was uh, 10 versus, you know, 18 versus where I am now. Um, when the elements of my life change, um, what what scares me changes mm -hmm. too. Like if I would have, before having the baby this year, like I actually used to hate movies that had kids in it. <laughs> You know, like we have this big trend of like horror movies. I all have kids and I'm like, kids are so annoying. Like, I just want to watch a horror movie right now. Go get off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Babadook <sighs> wanted to smack that kid. Like, shush, you're ruining my horror movie. <laughs> but now, now um, that I have one of my own, I understand, you know, parents watching horror movies mm -hmm. and seeing like, you know, what scares me now is something happening to the baby. Whereas mm -hmm. before I'm like, you know, it might be some guy waiting down the street in the alley that would have scared me before, but now it's like, does she run into the street? You know, mm -hmm. it, so again, I think when, as you grow through life, um, the things that thrill you, things that terrify you, they, they change too. What's your Definitely. favorite? My favorite, that, that's really difficult because uh, I, I don't have to say uh, True for There by Jessica Cameron was, is one of my favorites. She oh. is amazing. Well, thanks That's for watching. That's an amazing film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, like uh, I do you, like, do you like you the like, more like torture porn. I like intense, like anything that's intense. I like anything that makes me think intense. about stuff, you know, way beyond the film. I like. Uh, I just watched Smile. Smile was a pretty awesome one. I, I know I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen it yet. That, so you liked it? You like that one? I did. It's a little long, but uh, put up with it, it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> all right on your recommendation i'm gonna check it out awesome well thank you for your time you're a fantastic uh screen queen uh i've enjoyed a lot of the films you've been a part of and thank you very much for your time thank you Tamara. i i really appreciate you having me on and thank you for checking it out um if you haven't yet and you liked truth to dare um may i suggest one that just came out that i did called um death count it's um it's kind of a similar vibe as Truth or Dare. Um, it has Michael Madsen and um, uh, Costas Mandel, Arkansas, and, and and Sarah French, who's also another screen queen. So um, it's it's a fun one and got a lot of a uh, lot of thumbs up from the fans. So so uh, that just came out. You can check that one out too. I'll send you the link if you want to to peek okay. at it. Yeah. Um, but thank awesome. you again for having me on and. Uh, Frost comes out October 11th. So um, if you're watching, thank you for watching the interview. And I hope that you'll check out Frost and um, find me on social media so we can all chat about it. <laughs>